In today's video I want to share with you my 5 major tips concerning color grading. Hope you're gonna enjoy it, so without further ado, let's begin. Clip colors are very useful if your color grading video is shot by multiple cameras. To set the clip color in edit page, first select all the clips you want to set specific color. If the clips are in multiple beans, you can select the beans by holding control key and click them one by one. As you see, now all the clips from selected beans are listed here. So basically what we're gonna do now is select them all by tapping Ctrl A, right click, clip color. In my case it's already set to teal. I did it in edit page, but you can do it in media and cut page as well. Now if we go to the color page and open clips panel, we can easily tell which clip was shot by what camera. This is helpful when you're grading and see that two clips of the same scene are next to each other and shot with different cameras. Then you know that you need to be more vigilant to balance colors, exposure and so on, so that the whole take looks consistent. If you're interested how to match shots color-wise, check out this video, link in the description. You can quickly compare two shots side by side just select both clips, choose split screen, then from drop down menu selected clips. With mouse scroll you can zoom in and out. By pressing Z key the size will fit to screen. With the clip colors you can also easily group your clips. From clips menu just select the clip color, for instance pink which are my drone shots. And you have a quick overview of all drone footage for example. You can add them to the group if you prefer to work with groups. More about groups in this video. Apply fix note tree for all the clips in the timeline before you start grading. This is important if you color grade longer video. To do it, just prepare a note tree you want to work with. You can download mine if you want, link in the description. Let me quickly create a simple one. So Alt S to add a serial note, Alt P to add some parallel notes. Yeah. Once ready, make sure you see all the clips. In clips menu check all clips. Select all the clips, Ctrl A. For this example I will only select maybe two clips. And middle click the one with your note tree. It will apply the grade to the selected clips. In this case it's only an empty note tree. Fixed note tree is important if you apply changes to multiple clips, which is the next tip. So let's say you've color graded those four clips. You compared it, looks fine, but you want to change the color of the lake. Let me quickly change it, maybe with the warper. Like that. And maybe you don't like the exposure, you want to boost it a bit. And decrease saturation. So we've made changes in three nodes. To apply it to other clips, you can proceed the same way as we did with the fixed node tree. So select the clips you need, hold Ctrl key and select the clips, middle mouse click on the corrected clip. But this method will not copy changes only from the corrected nodes, it will override the whole grade. Sometimes you don't want it. The other way to do it is to ripple node changes only, but you need to do it node by node. So for example, we start with the lake color. Select the clips you want to apply this node change and from color menu choose ripple node changes to selected clips. So we have not overridden other nodes. It's a good idea to have a keyboard shortcut to it. I have tab key assigned to it. So again, maybe this time I will increase exposure. And if I press tab key, it's rippled across selected clips. This method will work properly only if we use fixed note, as I showed in the previous tip. One more thing, from three dots menu, I like to set switching clip selects to same node. So if you switch between clips, the selected node will be the same for all the clips. Really handy settings. Shift F very useful when you compare multiple clips. 
Let's say I want to take a closer look at those four clips. I split the screen, make sure to choose selected clips. And with Shift F, I can quickly enter full screen mode. I can further zoom in with the mouse. If I tap Z key, I get fit to screen size, also very useful. And Shift F again to close full screen mode. Another useful shortcut is Shift D. This will enable and disable bypass color grade for quick comparison of our grade before and after. You can use this icon to do the same, but shortcut is much more efficient. Another useful and very often used shortcut would be Ctrl D. As you see, what it does is disable and enable selected node. Also very handy to compare before and after effect. You can achieve the same by clicking the number of the node. And finally, this is not a shortcut, but I want to show you this. Normally, when you grade a bigger project, you will probably have multiple video tracks with effects, titles, fusion and so on. All those components are visible as clips in the clip panel, which is disturbing and annoying sometimes. Probably you don't need and want to grade a title or some effects. So what you can do is simply disable this track and no longer see it in the clip panel. So open timeline and disable tracks with titles, effects and so on by clicking the track name. But in certain circumstances, you might want to see it as a final result. In this case, hold Alt key and click the track name you want to disable. If its name turns into red, it means it's disabled and no longer listed in the clip panel, but you still can see it as a final composition. For instance here, you see the title effect over the clip, but you grade only the clip. More about how to grade skin tone to get best results can be found in this video, link in the description. But today I want to show you how you can use a shared node to do it. Right now we are grading at the clip level. Let's switch it to timeline, which goes after clip. All the changes done on timeline level are done on top of all the rest. It's mostly used for final effects, some final touch. Anyway, we're gonna keep here our skin checker node. So I will add one serial name it as skin checker, now right click, save as shared node. If you see these blue little arrows, it means the node is a shared node. Unlock it, so right click on the node and uncheck lock. What I'm gonna do now is create a power window and place it over the skin. I will invert it and in primaries I will decrease gain to zero. So basically we only see the skin. I will switch back to clip mode, right click somewhere on, on the empty space, add node, skin checker node. If I disable it, power window no longer impacts the image. But whenever I want to correct or check the skin tone, I can enable it back and do what's necessary. Let me open vector scope. For example, in the curves, hue versus hue, I will slightly correct the skin like that and I know it's perfectly aligned with the indicator in the vector scope. Okay, that will be it for today. If you want to learn all the tools in the color page and know how they work and what they for, feel free to fill in the form link in the description. As soon as the guide is ready, I'll send it to you. Don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers!